Hey boys and girls, today we got another uh, belated uh, unboxing for a set that came out about a week ago. Um, we've got Phantom Dragon Aeon, which is set 10, which is the basically the Shadow Paladin set as is shown on the box here. But it also comes with other stuff, surprisingly. We've got Mega Colony, Spike Bros, and Tachikaze as well going on in this box, so we'll see what comes out of this. But Basically, this dude right here is what everyone's looking for out of this thing. So let's see if we can get lucky to it this one today. And today's special unboxing tool is a knockoff Beyblade. Almost forgot. Today's uh, unboxing is also brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. So Triple Sleeve TCG, if you don't know what it is, it's an online website where you can go and get bundles or play sets of cards from a specific clan that you need from a set. So for example, if you are wanting to get a play set of, uh, let's say Spike Brothers cards from this booster set, you could go onto their website, select this set, select the slight Spike Brothers clan. You will be given the option to purchase a play set of every card of a base rarity from that set, giving you all the new cards that you'll need to update and finish your deck. So go ahead and check out Triple Sleeve TCG. There will be a link in the description below. You guys can check that out for yourselves. So thank you again, Triple Sleeve TCG, for this box today. Let's go ahead and get in here. Cut the wrapping out. It's very, very vibrant colors there. Just now noticing. So, right from the get-go. Oh, nice. Spike Bros. Dice. Very cool. Little, little dude in there. Eh, I was gonna open it, but I'll just put it this side. And what else we got? More Zero Propaganda. I don't even know what this is. DHD. First Mix. Huh. Alrighty then. So, we got more gifts. I think, are these double-sided gifts? Let's see. Yep, more double-sided gifts. Thank you, Bushy. We actually do need more of these. Making more space in our deck boxes. Appreciative. All right. I'm gonna pull these boys out. Should be 10 of each. Or, I'm sorry, 8 of each. So 16. Yep. All right, let's get started. First one. Cool. So we got some common, common, more mega colonies. All mega colony stuff in this pack. <laughs> it's all mega colony. Um, Tachikaze rare. Oh wow, cool. So we got our first triple R right off the first pack. So let's see. If your Vanguard is Blaster Dark, retire this unit. Search your deck for one Phantom Blaster Dragon. Write it as Stan and uh, that placement can I use the X ability. So cool. We got the Superior Ride card for Phantom Blaster Dragon in Blaster Dark, so hold that, hold on to that for Miles if he wants it. Alright, next pack. Uh, more Mega Colony stuff. Um, common, oh, Cradles. So Cradles are that new marker thing where uh, the power is reduced by its range power, cannot boost or intercept, and it loses all its original abilities. When the unit on the cradle marker is retired. Search your deck for up to one card the same grade as that unit. Reveal it, put it into your hand. So it's a it's kind of like lock, not as good as lock, but yeah. New uh new keyword basically for Mega Colony. Reprints, a rare, and another rare. Cool. Alright, next up. Cool Tachi stuff. The new Tachi starter, which I think is Pretty cool in artwork. Mech Trainer, Death Fetter Eagle, New Draw Trigger. Oh, skip some stuff, but we got the next triple triple R, which is our our retrain for our Stride Fodder, Acrobat Verity. So um, if a rigor is called by your card's ability, this gets 5k. So that's why it gets 5k. And the other ability is when it's placed, you look at top five for a three, add it to your hand. If you added a three, you discard something. So e. Got one of those. So we already hit both 
We already had two triple R's, so that was pretty fast. Oh, cool, we got Root. I like Root's new art. A lot of commons there, reprints. Uh, some Witch. Oh, well, there's the VR. Wow, <laughs> first three packs, and I already just hit all the high rarities. Uh, we got Phantom Blaster Overlord. So, uh, cover art, that's pretty cool. Yay, cover art card. Um, if you have Phantom Blaster Dragon in your soul, this gets 10k. And it's crit becomes two. All right, already really good. Uh, when it attacks Vanguard, Canvas One, retire any number of rear guards. Your opponent chooses the same number um, and retires them for this cost. And search your deck for up to one card with Blaster in its name, called to rear, shuffle your deck, and the called unit gets 10k. So, yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool there. On attack, just being able to swing and force your opponent to lose a board. Uh, nowhere near as good as the multi-attacking in Luard, but, uh, you know, being able to superior ride pretty quickly helps with that. Cool. I really like the artwork for uh, Overlord, too. Alright. Next pack. Maybe we'll get the, act the last triple R in this one. Some more commons. Ancient Dragon stuff. I like how all the Ancient Dragons let you gain a crit whenever you get a front trigger. Oh, cool. Double R. Uh, we got Paris Launcher. Parasu Launchu. Um, so it was the original PG, but now it's a Sentinel crit, so that's cool. And, yeah, we went through the whole thing. Oh, was this the rare? I didn't even notice. <laughs> the artwork didn't look, like, rare-worthy. I don't know if that's being biased or not, but it is a Spike Brothers card. Alright. And I really killed the most of the box right from the beginning of this video, so I have to figure out what the last triple R is going to be. Common, 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 rare. Ooh, this thing, what does this thing do again? Order, uh, put a grade two card, less card from your hand if it's sold. Look at three cards on top of your deck. Reveal up to one from among them, put it in your hand with the rest of the bottom of your deck. That's actually really, really good. Rereading this thing again, because filtering is a thing. So if you really are like searching for a specific card from your deck, like, this will definitely come in handy. Uh, one that comes to mind is I think I saw a list from Japan of a shop of a shop tournament of a guy that had a Tachikaze deck where the only grade 3 in the deck was Anger Blader, and they ran a bunch of this to help filter through the deck to search for the one copy. So I thought that was pretty funny. Alright. Next up, next up, next up. See a little little shiny shiny back there but not, not the shiny we want oh this thing uh i want to read this just because i know it's important and i want to remember why 5k grid 2 if you have anger blast in its name soul blast when tie this unit search deck for the one blaster dark reveal it put it in your hand shuffle your deck uh yeah okay so this is what helps you Oh, I, I guess it's whatever, honestly, because it just searches for a blaster strike. It is helpful for, like, Mordred, I guess, but mm, I, don't, I don't really see the appeal. Common, reprints, uh, one place, countercharging, that's really good. Ooh, knees! We got knees. Van, when place, look at seven cards, top of your deck for a Luard or Leofall. Uh, and your hand... When placed by your card's ability, Soul Blast 1, your opponent chooses one of his regards, retires it. Very cool. I like I like this artwork for Nies. It's very nice. Put that on the side there. This set's pretty fun, not gonna lie. Uh, Panther. Old Jewel. Uh, some 5k grade 1. Soul Charge when we used. Uh, it's just Soul Charge fodder, I guess. Ooh, cool the reprint for the, the heal. Um, what does this thing do? It looks cool. I like the claws. When a text finder is retired, when you your draw a card. If you if you retired, you know what the equip gate. Choose your opponent's rear and retire. Okay, yeah, that's not great. So it makes sense for it to be a rare. Oh no, dropping cards. All right, let's see what we got next. Uh, more ancient dragon stuff. Worker Voids, uh, Dark Side Trumpeter reprint, 
And next, double R. Ambush Dexter. Then, when placed, uh, discard a card and draw a card. Rear when placed. Count last one, put a grade to or greater, rear into your soul. Search your deck for up to two cards with the same grade as the unit put into your soul. Call them to rear. That's that's pretty good. That's that's really good. That's a lot of filtering right there. So, and it's a grade one. Man, that's that's a good card. Yeah, anything that like lets you trade two for one, or trade one and then you get two. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same thing, right? I said the same thing. <laughs> Commons, 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 rare, rare. Cool, so that was a busted pack. I think it's always funny to think like if you were like to just buy a pack and then that one pack you get is something like that where it's literally just nothing. <laughs> Happens too many times. Cradle, common, common. Uh, Abyss Grail, heal, like, like how this came back. Uh, a rare and a front trigger card. Again, a dead pack. Let's see what's in. The oh, there's another shiny back there. So I think that's our last triple R. So we got uh, vanilla, more hoods, more ancient dragons, heals, crits, a rare grade one, and there he is, Emperor Dragon Guy Emperor. It's a VR. So that I got two VRs in this box. That's cool. Nice. All right. Let's read. Uh, let's read Guy Emperor real quick. During your turn, all your rearguards with equipped gauges get 5k, and if your opponent's at grade 3, they get 10k. When this attacks, come up from a retired rearguard. This gets the original power of the retired of the you know of the retired unit, basically, till the end of the battle. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or greater, it gets its original crit as well. So that's pretty cool because um, if you run those vanillas that just have two crit on it, um, you can just gain three crit just from sacking it. So you can play that really gimmicky uh, grade two game, or I'm sorry, uh, hat, a stalling game, not grade two game, but where you like deny your opponent damage unless you're swinging at them with Gaia for face. But the only sad thing is that Gaia doesn't really have a way to get power unless the, the boosted unit um, has um, uh, an equip gauge on it, and then you just take advantage of the the extra power bonus from the 10k. So that could be a way to do it. But again, Gaia is nowhere near as good as Anger Blader. But you know, it's understandable. It's just Gaia Emperor. We also didn't even get Dogma in this set. Like, what's that about? Kind of whack, if you ask me. Like, Dogma was one of the best Tachikaze cards. All right, got a bug, some athlete, a dog, a bug. Uh, trumpeter and some guy oh cool there's our triple r so cool we got the we got the tachikaze box um true ancient dragon blutter mouse so blutter mouse skill is you retire a rear guard choose one of your opponent's rear guard or sorry yeah choose one of your opponent's rear guards retire it search your deck for up to one card the ancient dragon called to rear shuffle your deck gets 5k that unit gets 5k when you drive check a front you may get give this thing a crit so i honestly like this whole like aggressive front trigger crit like tachikaze build because it just makes me want to run 12 fronts and four crits just no heals no pgs no draws i just i just want to go full aggro with this thing um maybe the draw is just for resources but it just makes me want to go like six six front six draw like who needs who needs heals if you don't plan on losing? Am I right, ladies? <laughs> um, yeah, I like I like the ancient dragon stuff. I like the idea behind it of the the second ability where they all just gain crits when you get a front. It just makes getting that front even a better even even better feeling when you already have a front row going. It's just cool. Give me give me you guys's ancient dragon lists. I, I want an ancient dragon list, please. Give me one. Gimme, give gimme give to me. A vanilla, some dude with a bird, uh, a robot, some draw trigger thing, a uh, bis grail, a uh, regiment dragon, regidon, it's like a raptor. Oh cool, dark face, double R. So dark face, when placed, 
You discard a card from your hand, choose one of your opponent's rear guards without any cradle markers, and put a cradle on it, and then it describes what a cradle is. Uh, when this attacks, van or rear, to kind of plus one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards with a cradle, retire it. This unit gets 5k until the end of the battle for each grade of the chosen unit. Okay, so doesn't have like a guard restrict on it. So I don't really know the big deal, but it does have an easy way to acquire cradles. So I do see some value in it. The power could be helpful, but because there's no guard restriction in it. I know, I'm pretty sure Meng Calling has a grade one that does do something to make up for it. I'm pretty sure it's that one promo card. Or maybe that's the promo card that just keeps stuff stunned. Either way, Dark Face does seem kind of mediocre for the most part, but it's a double bar and it's shiny. Hey, it's Dark Face. We got two left. So let's see how this goes. Oh, I see another shiny back there. Whoa, what could that be? Athlete, uh, athlete, bug, reprint, athlete, raptor. Oh! SP Kaya Emperor, let's go. This really is the Tachikaze box. Look at this, whoa, nice. All right, that was a pretty good box. I'm not gonna complain. Uh, during your turn, you know, all your rear guards get the equip gauge, 10K of grade three, yeah. Retire, you know, uh, if you retired unit, if you have a grade three, if your opponent's a grade three, the retired unit, you get the crit of the retired unit originally, blah, blah, blah. I'm just really liking the fact that it's SP. Wow, that's pretty dope. Cool. I don't know SP pack, but SP, SP guy infer, that's dope. And last pack today, maybe we'll get another VR, who knows? It's probably gonna be boring, watch. Root, something, uh, Dino, Adelaide. <laughs> Never mind. this was the Legress best pack in the box. Save the best for last. We got Adelaide. Look at her. She's great. A uh, bug, uh, something, and some double R. I guess I'll read this just because it's double R. Uh, Van, during your turn, this unit gets 5k for each force marker on your circle. So does that mean it's like plus 15 for each marker, I guess? Okay. Uh, when it attacks, canvas one, choose one of your opponent's rear guard. Choose one of your rear guards and stand it. Okay. Oh, that is pretty good. That is really good, actually. So I like that. I like that it uh, just stands stuff just when it attacks. That's pretty good. But uh, not as good as, you know, Adelaide. All right, let's go over all the important pulls. Um, have the double R's just sitting there. So, Spiking Cannon, Dark Face, Ambush Dexter, Knees, and I got a Paris Launcher. For the higher rarity stuff, we have the Acrobat Verity. Uh, for Shadow Paladin, we got the one card that Spear rides into Phantom Blaster Dragon on top of Phantom Blaster Overlord. We got Ancient Dragons, Blutter Mouse, and we got two Gaia Emperors, one being SP. So this was not bad, but being that Gaia is not like the most sought after thing in this set, it's kind of not the best thing. But personally for me, as I just kind of like really like having these things just to like have. <laughs> um, and also I have a friend who really likes Tachikaze. So this is like, I'm happy. I really like this. Obviously gonna probably hold on to the shadow stuff for Miles, make this make this life a little easier if he wants to keep playing Shadow Paladin. And uh, the I can think of maybe two people that would want the spike and the Mega Colony stuff, so maybe. And then the Gaia stuff. I'm just this is really cool. Um, this box was not what I was expecting, but it is definitely great. I am not complaining. Thank you guys for watching this unboxing. Uh, stay tuned to see more stuff in the near future. Um, content is pretty hard to keep up with nowadays. 
uh, with work and school and a pandemic and everything in life just kind of crashing in on everybody. But I appreciate you guys sticking around and being patient. So look forward to more stuff in the near future. And that's pretty much it for the video. If you have any comments or questions, you guys know where to put them. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.